natural resources and their conservation natural resources and their conservation water resources and their conservation forest resources and their conservation concept of endangered species concept of endemic species remote sensing for plant vegetation natural resources and their conservation natural resources are of two types inexhaustible resources the resources which are available on earth in plenty and in unlimited quantities they cannot be exhausted by human use example air wind power tidal power solar energy water rainfall soil hydropower etc exhaustible resources these resources are available in limited quantity they can be exhausted by man through indiscriminate and non judicious use they are of two types renewable plants animals microorganisms groundwater etc and non renewable fossil fuels metals minerals etc water resources and conservation one of the most essential resources of life is water its recycling on the earth is called hydrological cycle or water cycle water covers about 71% of the earth's surface sources of water are marine water resources and fresh water resources marine water resources it constitutes about 97.5% of total water on the earth's surface cannot be consumed by humans due to high salt content it is a good source of seafood salt etc fresh water resources it constitutes about 2.5% of total water on the earth's surface it is consumable by humans it is of three types ground water surface water and polar water problems associated with water resources the recycling of fresh water through nature's hydrological cycle is highly unequal over different parts of the world due to this there is a lot of scarcity of fresh water in different parts of the world deforestation hardness of water formation of dry lands reduced soil fertility conservation and management of water there are many measures by which we can conserve water economic use of water by industries preventing water pollution afforestation proper methods of irrigation there are many strategies which should be adopted to protect water resources for future construction of dams and reservoirs maintenance of topsoil construction of canals rain water harvesting desalinization of marine water forest resources and conservation the word forest is derived from latin word forestis which means outside woods forests are renewable and natural resources 19 to 23% of land is covered by forests forests represent a complex ecosystem including soil decaying organic matter plants and animals importance of forests productive importance it is a source of food it is a source of many major and minor forest produce such as fuel wood timber bamboo camphor essential oils gums resins tannins etc honey wax silk etc horns hides ivory etc from forest animals medicinal plants and drugs latex rubber etc it is a source of raw materials for various industries manufacturing paper and pulp packing boxes plywood perfumes etc it provides shelter to human tribes wild animal species etc protective importance control of environmental pollution protection from floods and droughts rainfall and temperature protection of soil retention of water balance of carbon dioxide and oxygen protection to animals deforestation the permanent removal decrease or deterioration of indigenous forests and woodlands is called deforestation major causes of deforestation population explosion ever increasing population imposing ever increasing demands on land and resources is the primary cause developmental projects clearing forest area for developmental projects for example hydroelectric projects large dams reservoirs laying down railway lines and roads etc tree felling indiscriminate felling of forest trees for fuel wood factories industries and other human needs forest fires they may be natural or purposely set to clear forest area overgrazing also destroys vegetation problems posed by deforestation extinction of species 
reduced soil productivity, soil erosion, change in climate, shortage of fuel wood, global warming, conservation and management of forests. Many methods are used for conservation and management of forests such as reforestation. Planting of forest trees in a deforested area is called reforestation. Afforestation, growing trees and shrubby vegetation on unused vacant lands is called afforestation. Afforestation includes social forestry, planting of fast growing trees and shrubs on open unused lands. Agroforestry, growing woody trees in agricultural fields either along with the crops, town gas system or crops and trees grown in same agricultural land one after the other at different times, shifting cultivation system. National Parks and Sanctuaries Concept of Endangered Species There are some species whose number has been reduced to a critical level or whose habitats have been adversely affected so that many become extinct if not given special protection. They are also called as threatened species. The International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources IUCN maintains a red list or red data book in which the endangered species of plants and animals are reported. IUCN has classified such species into four categories endangered species, vulnerable species, rare species and indeterminate species. The endangered species are those living organisms which are almost on the way of becoming extinct. Its habitat is also drastically reduced due to unfavorable environment or human factors. Example, some of the endangered plant species are pteridophytes such as Psilotum nudum, Ophiglossum pendulum fern, Osmunda regalis fern. Gymnosperms like Cycus bedomai, Abis, Ginkgo biloba, etc. Angiosperms like Rauulfia sarpagantha, Santalum sandalwood, Papaver, Opium poppy, Magnolia, etc. All these are dicotyledons. Monocotyledons like Colchicum, orchids like Cypriped, Vanda, etc. Some of the endangered animals are bison, blue whale, Asiatic lion, Indian tiger, teeta, Indian elephant, rhinoceros, Asian slow leopard, some species of crocodile, peacock, musk deer, and beaked woodpecker. Vulnerable species. These are the species whose number of individuals is greatly reduced in the recent past and continues to decrease. Such species can be endangered species due to depletion of some factors. Example, clouded leopard, musk deer, etc. Rare species. Rare species are those whose numbers are few, restricted to a small geographical area or live in an unusual environment. At present, they are not endangered or vulnerable, but at risk. For example, Great Indian Bustard and Black Buck. Indeterminate Species These species are in danger of extinction, but the reason is unknown. Three-banded Armadillo of Brazil, Short-Eared Rabbit of Sumatra, Rhinoceros, etc. Causes of Extinction Natural Causes Earthquakes, Floods, Landslides, volcanic activities, etc. Man-made causes like over-utilization or over-exploitation of natural resources, pollution of soil, water, air, hunting, destruction of habitats by construction of dams and reservoirs, building of roads, mining, etc. Introduction of exotic species, species like congress grass, etc. Using plant and animal species for pharmaceuticals, perfumes, cosmetics, decoration, medicines, etc. Conservation of endangered species. Protection to all threatened species. Conservation of all possible varieties, old or new, of food shortage and timber, plants, agriculture, animals and microbes. To promote public awareness. To reduce pollution. Concept of endemic species. The plant species restricted to definite small regions are known as endemic species or endemics. The endemic species have been grouped into the following categories. Relic endemics, epibiotics, well-known species with extensive distribution in the past. However, today they have been restricted due to geographical and climatic changes. They are also called as old endemic species. They are also known as living fossils. 
these are important in indicating plants of ancient times their isolation and diversification example ginkgo biloba metasequia and kangaroo new endemics these are relatively modern species formed as a result of evolution new endemics are flexible can adapt to new sets of environmental conditions and show higher degree of variability therefore they can spread and survive in different regions of the world present status limited distribution restricted to limited regions reason behind restricted distribution being more recent in origin did not have enough time for migration and spread from their place of origin examples piper nigrum kalimiri piper longum ficus religiosa shoria robusta etc pseudo endemics the mutant plants and animals restricted to a particular locality they are called pseudo endemics they may lose their mutant form and may spread to wider areas or disappear example polar bear paleo endemics the plant and animal species which originated in ancient times but remained distributed in a small area where favorable conditions existed are called paleo endemics such species are also called ecological endemics remote sensing for plant vegetation remote sensing is the modern technique of collecting information about ecosystems and environment from a distance without coming in direct contact based on the principle that all living and non-living objects on the earth emit absorb or reflect characteristic frequencies in their electromagnetic spectrum this information or data is obtained by imaging the earth from aircraft or spacecraft that is satellite with the help of remote sensing devices the sensors and other supporting instruments and equipments in the remote sensing system record these reflectance values and convert them to an image form the remote sensing system the remote sensing system which gathers records and transmits the data consists of different types of sensors for example camera multispectral scanner etc radar microwave sensor characteristics of vegetation which help in remote sensing studies and analysis vegetation shows high level of absorption in the red and blue segments of visible spectrum it shows higher reflectance in the green segment vegetation shows very high reflectance in the region near infrared band of the em spectrum importance and application of remote sensing of vegetation very effective and powerful tool in the study as well as assessment of vegetation we can assess the damage and destruction caused due to natural vegetation as well as agricultural crop fields it provides information about the status of soil moisture availability of soil water the irrigation and other sources of water for agricultural crops etc it gives information and assessment of weather and climate in relation to crops and vegetation in general